Check it out. Holy The cheeks on this guy are the same color as his black suit. This poor guy has a California raisin shaped like Bill Clinton tattooed on him for life. Today, you must create a Star Wars tattoo. Remember, we're testing for contrast. Your design better pop or you'll be headed home. You have five hours to tattoo and your time starts now. Give me an idea. Um, I want to have the Imperial cog in yes. the background just as kind of a silhouette and then just a clone trooper. The background is really simplistic and this whole challenge is about contrast. In order to show contrast, like I'm really going to have to play with this. Would you be open for me changing up the background a little bit? What kind of background are you looking for? I'm thinking like a galaxy with the other half being... Nah, I'd rather just keep the focus on just the clone trooper. I don't think that's going to fulfill this challenge. I don't want to go home for it. We're totally butting heads. I need to convince him to go in the direction that I really want to go. Imperial Guard. Click on that one. That's the most realistic picture that they have online. The rest are like... Okay, so everything is red on him. Let me tell you the things about my character. It's all red. No contrast there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the top part of him, probably a sword, uh, make a light sword so I can have a, a, like a, a contrast and color bouncing off the red and a space backdrop. I have to do things in the background. I have to do all this color And this dude only sat for two hours before his pass. Sure you're going to be able to handle this pain on your thigh, man? This is something that you give one of the top dogs. I'm Love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. Clint tried to trip me up a little bit on this one. My subject matter is pretty limited. I'm doing white clone trooper with the Imperial cog as the background. That is the coolest thing in the world. I come up with the idea to make the cog a viewport into space. I'm using that as a window to kind of showcase that contrast. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, here we go. The judges want a masterpiece, and I'm going to deliver. These aren't the droids you're looking yeah. for. <laughs> I got one of the canvases that I actually recognized. Doesn't look like a frog. I'm very critical of Yoda. Your sketch was dead on, which was awesome. <laughs> the character that I do know is the little green guy. Oh, cool. You know, what's going to look cool is the fact that you got all like these dark colors up here. When you do the red, that's going to stick out like neon. That is the plan, my <laughs> friend. OK, this guy's all red, so I'm not going to do his whole body. I'm going to do like the upper part. I'm going to have the Death Star ship in the background with the lights and the atmosphere to create that contrast. Without it, I'm Red is a hard color to pack. Now I think I know why Clint gave it to you. Why not you piss him off? Kay's going to screw himself over. I don't need to help him out on that. I think I might be biting off more than I can chew, but if I don't do one of my best tattoos I've done, it's going to be a battle for the bottom between me and Mark. Hey, Jamie, if I were to fill in those gaps with the color, what color would you recommend? Would that work? Uh, purple? I wouldn't get too dark against that black and that red. It's going to have to be something that's going to pop, like a light blue, light green, light yellow. I wouldn't go dark purple. Mark needs to work on his color theory for sure. Everything's turning out really, really dark. Yeah, that's what's going to make him pop. I end up not listening to him because I think the purple creates enough contrast to get that helmet to pop a little bit. This is what the f is up. OK. How do you feel about the canvas that Clint assigned you? For what it is, my guy loved it. He spent more time than I've been alive dressing up as these guys. What I mostly didn't like is he's all red, so I got to put something behind him. You could have showed these wrinkles and this cloth to look like fabric. Doesn't have drapery feel. Looks like he's wearing lunch meat. That's one way to look at it, but one thing I do want to add is that these guys, they do one thing. They stand there. That's pretty much it. Mark. So last week, you had a little bit of a rough go. How do you think you did this week? I feel like I did OK with the foreground. The background probably could have done a little bit better. Those colors, man, those are no-nos. Side by side, especially in a graphic way like this, it's not going to work out. Purple is a mean, nasty color. And this is one of those times where it is hurting you. I've known all this before, but I've been so far removed from it and just thinking I could autopilot on this because I've been doing it for so long. This is a good wake up reality slap, man. Hard head got to feel it to believe it. I feel it right now. Sarah, what did the client ask for? He wanted the Imperial cog with like the trooper in front, and he didn't even want all this detail. What I did was I showed him my stuff and said, this is the direction I want to go. So from that point on, I was like, yes. <laughs> we hounded on you for putting too much white in things and using too many light colors. And this is what we're talking about. The colors you used in the armor to shadow it, it looks dimensional. I took what you guys said to heart, and I used a lot of skin breaks. 
And what I did to show the white on that trooper was just from the contrast of the darker colors. That use of contrast in a very insignificant part of the tattoo is very impressive. Tattoo baby. Are you happy that you got this particular canvas? I haven't seen the movie, but one of the characters that I was most familiar with was this one. I was like, I hope I get the little green guy. <laughs> Capturing the depth in his eyes and the underside of his chin where it's real dark and the light side of his face where it's real light. I felt like I had a lot of pressure. I'm doing something that I know nothing about, dealing with somebody who's an expert in it, and I just have to make sure that I give her a great tattoo. The contrast you put in this thing with the green and the purple, just that tiny little accent of purple under the collar, great way to bounce the color palette off of each other. I feel like you knocked off a lot of the big guys that underestimated you, and this is a big move for you. So keep the momentum. Two of you impressed us, and two of you did not. Sarah and Tattoo Baby. You guys have the top two tattoos. The judges have come to a decision. The best tattoo of the day goes to Tattoo Baby. For real? For real. Tattoo Baby, the tattoo you did was outstanding. You bounced the right color palette. You made the tattoo really pop. Overall, it really all came together for you well today. Mark and Kay, neither of you impressed us today. Kay, you're struggling. You're not able to show the contrast you need to show because the images that you're picking, you're not being able to convey to the skin. You've got three years. All you're lacking is simple technique. You need that guidance. My ambition is what got me standing here. And though my skill level don't really match my ambition at times, I know I can adjust. Either one of you could justifiably be sent home tonight. The judges have decided. Okay, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. And I think you're leaving here today a much better tattooer. I appreciate you guys, man. Please pack your machines and close shop. You may now consult with your human canvases. Then you will have six hours to complete your super villain tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. I think I do like it more real, less cartoon. I definitely want to try and beat Jimmy. He sneaked out the win last time. It's almost like traditional, which is kind of the cool part of this challenge. I need to be consistent in reproducing the actual comic reference. Definitely have to change these needles out to something smaller just to do what we're doing. If I can nail this tattoo, then I might have a chance to win. Dude, I don't know what angle you went on this one, man, but I'm pumped on this. I just thought about it. I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna win, it's gonna be because I did some sick New school this thing up, buddy. I'll just watch you freaking enjoy your way out of this competition. You gonna do it that size? Jesus. Yeah. Why? No, I'm just saying it's big for six hours. Jimmy Lit Walk's doing another Jimmy Lit Walk tattoo. It's a cartoon, not a comic. I would try and make that more dynamic. It just looks a little flat. Mm -hmm. No. I mean, I guess if that's what you wanna do and not do the challenge like you're supposed to, I don't know, I can't argue with you on drawing, so. I've been tattooing for 20 years. I don't really care about Joey's opinion. I got this. I take what I do know of Poison Ivy and create my own version of what this character is. I don't necessarily know that New School's ever gonna come up in the challenges, but I figure this is about the closest thing that I'm gonna get to really, really put it out there, so. This is my style of tattooing, so for me, I'm in a good running to win this challenge. Because he has a fresh scar going across his left leg, I flip the image and put it on his right leg instead. A face should always face it. I'm definitely pulling out all the ammo. Once again, time is of the essence, so I rushed the damn tattoo. Wish I had a little bit more time to blend things out. This sucks. Jimmy. As a guy who draws poison ivy, I think it missed the mark. She should be a seductress. She's not drawing me in. I don't draw it every day, so that's your area. Well, that's why I'm here, I assume. You missed in capturing the essence of this character. Bottom line is I'm 100% happy with what I turned out. This is a game. This is not a comic book tattoo. Today, DC Comic Day. I executed the tattoo, I did what I did, and I stand behind it. Joey. 
your attention to detail, the wow factor for me. Along the legs, along the sides, to see you ink on your canvas with the scissor hatching, the style that I'm familiar with from comic books, I was pretty impressed, because it's hard enough to do it on paper, and you're pulling it off on skin. I didn't really know until I started how much time that was going to take. Yeah. So I was, like, second-guessing myself at some points. Jackie. You jacked it up because of the very thin, weak outlines you did in the face. It doesn't look solid. It looks too weak. We've been battling line work all along. Not all along. Chris, it's no disrespect to you. No, I'm just like... saying. It doesn't convey comic book inking. It conveys a scratchy line. Consistency. You made a major alteration to it. It's backwards. You flipped it. Therefore, now he's burned on the opposite side of his body. So you're basically altering this pseudo history. It'd be wrong to do that, for sure. Didn't even think about that. Jason. Your saturation, color-wise, does not stack up. These transitions from the blacks to the blues and the very washed-out orange do not do it for me. I always think that there's room for improvement in every tattoo. Your consistency in your application is not going to stack up against these guys today. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Joey. Joey, you captured the essence, the playfulness, the danger of Catwoman. It looks like it was peeled from the pages of the comics and pasted on flesh. I love everything about it. Thank you very much. Jackie, Jason, Jimmy, any one of you could justifiably be sent home. Jimmy, you're here because the human canvas jury voted that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I stand behind my tattoo. Not everyone's going to like what I do, but I've been doing it for 20 years. But you can't stylize something to the point where it's unrecognizable. This is not poison ivy. It's a cutesy little cartoony green creature. You've missed the essence. Can't make everyone happy. All right, guys. The judges have decided. Jackie, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Today, you will be tattooing portraits. Holy This is going to be a really big challenge for me. It's been a long, long time since I've done a portrait. Let's meet your canvases. You may be wondering why there are so many canvases. Please don't tell me I have to do two portraits. Well, today, you can be even more accurate because not only will you have a photo, but you'll also have the real deal. Your canvases have brought the subjects for their elimination tattoos. If your tattoo doesn't look like them, they'll be sure to let you know. My name is Sierra, and I would like to get a portrait of Dave Navarro. Whoa! <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? No. I I can't I can't believe that someone's getting a portrait of me. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm stunned. I kind of figured. And you just you ready to just tackle this thing? Yeah. Jimmy's doing a tattoo of one of his judges. That's got to be pretty intimidating. You seem more nervous than I am. I'm not nervous, but you're freaking out. I'm freaking out because, you know, she's a beautiful girl mm -hmm. and I would hate to Tarnish that. I'm on not. Any level. I'm not going into any doubt about this tattoo of Dave. Good luck. I'll sit there and try to act like I'm not worried or anything like that. But I don't like doing portraits. I know I haven't done one within the past five years. I don't know if I've even done one in the past ten years. You think it was stupid for me to take this one? It's a tough one. It's got a lot of contrast. Yeah. I would go in and add a little bit of white highlights to the hair. Like you can barely see details in there. Just because hair is black doesn't mean it's jet black. Jimmy doesn't do portraits, so he has no idea what he's doing. I'm just saying lighten it up just so you can put little white highlights. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is more of his area of expertise. I'm definitely going to accept Joey's opinions on this one, because right now, I'm worried it Wow. What do you think? I love it. Oh, my God. What do you think? I wish I looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> I need to prove that I can do other things. It's going to be a big feat in itself today if I can make it past this point as one of the new school kids. So do you do much like realism portraits? I would say almost absolutely not at all. Jimmy. Your weak point is you didn't go dark enough. And the hair and the eyes, 
The beard goes to the jawline. You kind of created some highlights in there that made it look lighter. One of my biggest fears was to make the tattoo so dark that it looked like a cover-up. I mean, we see Dave all the time, and his hair's jet black. His eyes are super dark and smoky. And you took some liberties with your accuracy. It kind of takes away from what it could have really been. That's what I first thought, because I was like, that's right. You should have trusted Easier. it. You ended up doing way more work than you had to. Knowing what you're capable of, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do portraits as good as anybody. You will have six hours to create a color portrait of an X-Men character. Based on your work, one of you will be closing shop. Good luck. I won the last two challenges. Maddie took it this time, so now me and Maddie are going toe to toe. This has now become a showdown with this Wolverine tattoo. The back of the calf is horrible, so yeah, if you give me that thigh, bro, it's going to give us an you advantage. You got the thigh, brother. Awesome. I have never been so determined to win. Same shot. Where are you doing yours? Bye. Yeah, me too, man. So I'm feeling really good about my tattoo. It's coming out exactly the way I want it to. Very nice, very nice. It's looking really good. The nose, lips, eyes, cheekbones look exactly like the reference. I love it. My canvas wanted to get the knives in, but I'm very concerned about time. I'm very upset that I can't get them in. If I don't finish this tattoo, I'm screwed. Because Warpath always has knives, as soon as you take his knives out, it's no longer Warpath. It could just be anybody. This is a huge mistake. I just hope it looks good. You think it's gonna look good? I think it'll look cool. Okay. Lydia. What happened here with the negative space underneath this gentleman? He initially had the knives, but I didn't have enough time. So I just figured I'd put a big X down there. What makes this character recognizably X-Men are those blades. Missing those, it's very difficult for me to know who this is. Roland. She does not even have the same shape. The color fades are not there. Color, as you know, is not my forte. Scott. You stuck to the structure of the face. You kept the likeness of the character. Not going with the dark background around the hair, I think, is a wise choice. This tattoo has a ton of technical precision. That nice, clean netting in that armor, it's beautiful. The glow in the background is nice. It's a good use of color palette, and overall, it's a really strong tattoo. Before we announce the winner, let's bring your canvases back in for one last look. There's one more person we'd like to have check out your portraits. He's the ultimate authority in these characters because he plays one of them. Tony, Emmy, and Golden Globe winning actor, Hugh Jackman. Yes! all of them exceeded my expectations. The likeness, the detail, the character, the way you deal with not a blank canvas, but a curved canvas on the body, to me is astonishing. And as someone who lives in that world and hangs out with those people all the time, I can tell you every one of the actors would be blown away by what you've done. So you should be really proud. Do we have a winner? We do have a winner. And the winner is... Scott. Either one of you could be packing your machines. The judges have decided. Roland, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. You'll have six hours to tattoo a portrait of a groundbreaking political figure. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. So we got good old Bill. Think you can do him justice? I think I'm going to adjust the contrast a little bit. Doing portraits is my favorite thing, but with how this competition is going, I'm second guessing myself. I want to detail out pretty much like everything. Sarah's going to kill it. You'll kill it. You know you will. I'm, I appreciate your confidence. <laughs> I know I can do this, but at the same time, when I think I'm doing something right, I'm getting knocked on it. So should I trust my gut or not? I'm all over the place right now. I'm freaking out. If I make one slip, I can't. I, I, I just can't. I can't. I can't just do like this straight portrait. Holy Dude, that's a complicated stencil. Make sure no information is lost. All I can do is pray. 
Did you see her stencil, dude? Ooh. Sarah's? This <laughs> not a control, dude. What's up, girl? There's no room of error. There's no margin. Like, I can't this not knock this out of the park. Is crazy. I know, man. I can't drop the ball on this one. What the is this crazy? Did you do that on purpose? Yeah. No wonder you're half crazy. <laughs> when Sarah Miller is on point, she does world class tattoos. But right now, it seems like she's not focused, and that makes me happy. How's everyone feeling about portrait day? To be honest, there's a lot of portrait people here. I don't do portraits because there's no artistic freedom, no artistic liberties. You gotta just do what you see. The last thing I wanna do is see you come downstairs and be like, oh, camera's jury decided. <laughs> I'm here to prove myself as an artist, not a human copy machine. I wanna get through this tattoo and get to the next challenge so I can start getting on top of this game. I'm trying to stay here. It's gnarly this season, huh? I can do this. I'm hoping to come back from my lumps. Hopefully I'll be able to knock this out of the park. Portraits are my favorite thing. This is where I need to shine, and I don't really see anybody f***ing it up too badly, except for clean. But you didn't do portraits. I don't. I'm winging it. I'm flipping out right now. I don't do portraits. I'm normally pretty talkative, man, but I'm focused as a freight train. I think we might be sending a bell. Guess who? Clean. He's having a hard time. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I picked the hardest one. Holy the cheeks on this guy are the same color as his black suit. This poor guy has a California raisin shaped like Bill Clinton tattooed on him for life. Sausage. I love this tattoo. I love what you've done with the hair. I love the details in the tie. In this particular photo, his eyes are looking in slightly different directions, and you capture that in your tattoo. If you go down to that neck and you look at that highlight and the little white hairs that are showing off that, I didn't miss that. That thing's sick. Probably the best tattoo you've done here so far. Christian. As far as capturing a likeness, you really get the personality and the look of this person. You cut down on the number of wrinkles, but kept the direction and the flow of the wrinkles just right. The actual way that you do the hair coming over that right ear, perfect. It's beautiful because her hair is really white and light over that ear. You nail it. This was a great attention to detail. You're definitely ahead of the curve when it comes to portraits. Jimmy. For precision, your Jefferson looks slightly angrier than the one in the painting. His left eye is a little bit more closed in yours than in the painting, and then the lips are a little bit more pursed. What I think is lacking in here is shading coming around the top crown of the head. The actual hairline itself is a bit different when we're comparing it directly to a painting. That's a problem for you. Clean. The details in the tie, the suit, and the hair are some of the best in the room but you kind of lose that genuine look of his smile. The shape of the mouth itself, Reagan has a bump on the bottom right side that really comes up, and you do it pretty straight. You put a really hard line in right next to the right nostril that gives the nose a different shape than what it looks like in the photo. But for a guy that doesn't do portraits, you definitely did a decent portrait here. Sarah. Your choices on technique of how to put this black in here got away from you lost the look of the character by him being too dark. It's so black, but then you have these hypercritical details in the creases in the face, the wrinkles, even the white highlights that you put around the inset of the eye that then makes it look more like a shiny piece of fabric than it does a soft facial feature to the point where on a precision challenge, it is not precise. All right, guys, now it's time to determine a win for today. Christian and Sausage, that's the fight at hand here today for me. The JFK is incredible, but I look at the accuracy of the shading in Christian's tattoo. That's pretty amazing. It's unanimous. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Christian. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury chose. Clean. You're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I find that hard to believe. Kyle, why did the jury vote clean to the bottom? The human canvas jury thought that clean made Ronald Reagan look older than he was. I guess I should have given him a facelift. I love the tattoo. I actually thought that the Bill Clinton tattoo was the bottom tattoo because it was so dark. I can't believe you're even down here, man. Over burnt face. It's a great tattoo. 
the canvas jury. If you're gonna show this much dark, you have to show that much light so that the contrast works. Even if it is dark, there's a lot of precise details in this. There's no fix in that. The face is as black as the jacket. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm down here. I don't think you're down here wrongly. It definitely has sections of it that are just unfinished. The top of the hair. With an artistic eye, you know that you gotta finish that part up. When I see Sarah's tattoo, I gotta figure out who that is. Clinton sticks out the most to me. Today, my vote would be for Sarah to go home. The judges have decided, Sarah, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop.